everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so 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 excited to be here um reacting to the male fest finalist um performances as you know sweden is always one of my favorite countries uh because of the level also their melody festival is amazing always has an amazing level and yeah, I'm just so excited I'm reacting to all the contestants of uh, Mailfest and I had my favorites So yeah, today we're going to react to the selected ones, to the finalists And oh my god, I cannot wait, the mamas are back, the daughter is back, Eric Sade is back And all of them have been selected for the final, which I'm so excited for So, oh my god you know, like, let's go into it. Let's start reacting with the semi-final one. Um, with Arbin Garna. I, I don't know, these guys are always in the final. As you know, like, I don't think I'm gonna like this song. I think this once last year brought a song called I Do. But the staging, it looks very, very good. I think last year I liked them more. I mean, it's a very Swedish song. I, it's not that I don't like it. It's uh, I don't understand the lyrics. I don't think they're you know they're going to take this, um, this type of music. Of course, Melody Festival is a big deal in Sweden, and it's not just because of Eurovision. They actually enjoy it. Uh, but you know, like I don't think this is going to be an option. So it's okay that they appreciate the Swedish culture, but I'm not really sure if this will make it to your vision. I don't see this. I won't like that to go to your vision because I don't understand anything. So yeah, but it's not a bad song. Next one is Danny Selfail with Dancy Danza. I remember it was like a rap style. In life, which I okay. Okay, that sounds interesting, and the staging is also interesting. I mean, I like that the staging moves. I mean, the chorus, it's catchy and it's interesting, but since I don't understand anything, if it was in English, maybe. It reminds me a little bit to Ben Dolik's style last year, this club style. And also the voice is nothing new or something, you know, that catches my attention. Okay, they they have this choreography. It's catchy, but we also already have you know this kind of performance at Eurovision. We also have Lithuania. Next one, which is Anton Ewald. Yeah, I remember I was interesting in that boy and then daughter, which I think it's okay. It's interesting. Um, so 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 so. Yeah, let's listen to Anton Ewald. Okay, uh, the beginning is interesting. The voice is not the best. I don't understand anything. Okay. I'm not for now, like I'm not very interesting. It's been a minute since I've been listening to this, and the staging 
It's nothing new. Okay, now he's gonna... Okay, now he's at least dancing. But... If I would listen this song without watching the performance... Maybe it's one of those songs that I have to listen to uh, more than once to start liking it. But not a big deal. Not a big deal. I mean, the performance improves when he starts dancing, but nothing new either, you know? I don't like his voice. I'm suffering for his voice, you know, like I don't think he's comfortable doing that and singing like that I don't, like, not really sure about this um, He's, you know, the cute boy and I think like he would bring this attention from Eurovision um, for that um, better than this song because I don't think the song is the best Next one is Daughter Daughter uh, with little Todd. So yeah, let's see Daughter because Daughter was the second one well, last year, also the favorite to win. I'm so excited to, you know, like listen to her song and bet for this year. Okay. Okay, this sounds very like normal and radio friendly. I like the chorus. The big like this violence, also the vacant vocals. Oh, this part is interesting. Her voice, like, I don't feel it's as good as last year. I think the only part I like from this song is the chorus. Because I think it's a very powerful chorus. It's a very normal song, like I prefer last year Bulletproof. Let's see now. Okay, now her voice is better, at least it was okay. But I think it's a very normal pop song, you know, it doesn't... I don't see this going to Eurovision, or at least I don't think with this song, Sweden will stand out, because it's a very normal... I think it's a very normal pop song. The staging is great, but I don't think the song is the best, you know, I really like the chorus, but... Nothing else. Moving on, let's go to semi-final three. With Charlotte Ferrelli. Okay, this sounds interesting. I really like the staging. Okay, so this is like a Nadis style. Okay, I like this. It has strength. I 
I think it's a very normal song, but the chorus, same as daughter, it like she has strength in that chorus, so I think your vision like your vision songs are maximum three minutes and you have to offer something in those three minutes, you know, because if someone listens the first minute of your song and they disconnect, that's not a good sign like that's not a good sign. I mean, I like the instrumental of the song. It has very, like, a lot of strength. And she has an amazing, like, an amazing voice. And I think she's, like, the one with the better voice, uh, at least until now and, and until what I've heard. Okay. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed. I've listened to four songs already and not not four songs, five songs. And I don't I'm not surprised, you know. Mm, two set voices. Remember this guy, like I couldn't find anything from him, so I don't remember. Okay, so I don't know his style or whatever, but it like it looks amazing. So let's see. Okay. But this song sounds different. part I mean I feel this chorus has strength but not enough it's not enough okay I like this part but I don't like the staging here okay this part is better very normal song again like i'm not very impressed okay now let's listen to the mamas in the middle i'm so excited for them uh i like everything that they sent like they sing so yeah let's hope that her song have you know like strength and add something different i think it's very like it's very difficult to get a better song than last year last year for me it was one of my favorite and move like I think I think it was amazing. So yeah, let's see this year. Okay, okay, let's let's you know let's let's listen to the mamas and then Eric Sade. You know like the mamas and Eric Sade were my favorite. So <sighs> now I'm not impressed. Okay, so let's see if any of those songs impress me. What I really liked about last year is that the song had a very, like a lot of strength at the beginning. Okay, I like this part, but... Oh, last year they were like much better. And also the staging. Last year they had so much strength and I don't see this strength this year in any of the songs I've listened. I'm so, so disappointed. I 
I don't like this. Like, I like it, but I don't like it for your vision. Okay, let's see now. Last minute of the song. Okay, this part has strength. We have to listen to this song more than once to start liking it. But it's not like last year. I remember when I listened to the Mamas, they became my favorite right away. But this year, I mean, it's a great song, but I think they could have found a better song. Or maybe they want to change completely the style. I'm feeling bad for them. I'm feeling sorry for them because last year they won and they weren't able to go to your vision. But I don't think this year's song is as good as last year. And actually, any of the songs. Now let's listen to Eric Sade to see, you know, every minute. Let's see if I like this or not. I'm so, so curious. Okay. Like. Oh, this sounds interesting. His voice is a hundred percent perfect, but I this is very interesting. This is something different, this is something that can bring people's attention. I mean, I don't know if they could win with this. And I like the staging. It's so simple, but but the song, you know, it's interesting. Thanks, Eric Sade, for not disappointing me. No, 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 no. I like this voices. Like this part where he dances, like I think it's very um, strong in terms of communication. It's like he's facing his shadow. Ah, that's that's all. I was expecting something else. Okay, I think that's interesting. I don't know if I would prefer. Eric Sade or the Mamas, maybe Eric Sade because it's something different. I don't know if in terms of, you know, vocals, I would choose Eric Sade because his voice is a little bit vulnerable on stage. Like, I suffer when I uh, listen to Eric Sade singing in live. But definitely, I think it's something different and something that can get, can get people's attention at Eurovision. I think this song could be competitive in your vision with the mamas as well, but um, I think this song has you know more potential to like stand out. Now I'm going to react to second chances winners. Let's listen to Alvaro Sella Baila Baila. It's this reggaeton vibe, so I guess or I assume so. Yeah, let's listen to Baila Baila. Okay. This sounds like Juan Magan. Okay. Dame, dame tu cosita. I don't like this. I mean, it's something different, but dame tu cosita. I prefer last year as well. What's tu cosita? I'm like offended. What's tu cosita? Mamacita, dame tu cosita. What's the cosita? Like, what's the cosita? Tell me. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is not what I expected. 
and also his voice is not the best. Oh, Melfest, I think the level of this year is not as good as last year. Maybe because last year it was so good uh, that I was so excited to see the final. And this year, I don't know if I'm excited to see the final. I, of course, I want to watch it, but oh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Paul Ray, the missing piece, I really like last year's Paul Ray song. So, um... Baby, I've been talking in my sleep. I really like that song, so let's see this year. I've been a puzzle. No one could. Okay, his voice sounds better than last year. Okay, this reminds me a lot to Ed Sheeran style. I'm not really sure if it's the best option to bring to your vision, but um, I mean, it's not a bad song. I think it's a complicated song to compete with. But I think his voice is better than last year. Of course, I think last year the song it was more difficult to sing it. You know, those songs that you listen to them, they're not too bad, but they're not good enough. Okay, now I'm listening to um, Clara Klingenstrom. Not a big deal. I mean, this song, you know, for Instagram stories is great. Not a big deal. Not very interested in Clara Klingen's home. Ah, let's see Clara Hammerstrom. That I have a strong beat of broken hearts. I remember this girl like was very good last year or previous years at Melody Festival in. So yeah, maybe she's bringing like a good song. Okay, let's see her and let's listen to her song. Okay. Not something. Not the thing that I, I expected to be honest. I mean, her voice is good, but it's not my favorite. I don't like her outfit. <laughs> I mean, it's a good song, but... So, yeah, oh my god. As I have been saying the whole time. I'm disappointed with this year's level. I don't have the same excitement as I had last year. Like, um, definitely, like, I think the favorites this year are not as powerful as other years. So, yeah, I think my favorite are Eric Sade, um, the Mama's Voices, which I see that it's the, you know, a favorite to win at least in betting odds I don't see it. for now I cannot decide this is too hard for me so yeah what do you think what's your favorite song what do you think it's you know the best to go to your vision or what is your favorite song even without thinking about your vision 
yeah, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more Eurovision videos and follow me on Instagram where I will be reacting to the final of Melody Festival and also sharing my favorite as soon as I choose one. And yeah, you can also follow me on TikTok where I also share Eurovision content and that I think would be it. So yeah, mm, I don't know what to expect. I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.